Once you're awake, it's so easy to see what's taking place with these deceivers. Taking a look here at this video from Discovery News, also known as D-News. And this guy's trying to debunk the flat earth and does, doesn't do a very good job of it. Again, always talk about how signs and symbols rule this world like Confucius once stated. You know, words are for deception. Do not trust a word these deceivers say. This guy, he's just basically a useful idiot. That's all he's good for. He's just putting out this info as he's told. Just a sellout. Just like all the rest you see on TV. Just take a listen to what he says here. This looks flat. It feels flat. The logical explanation is the Earth is flat. Right? That's because it is. Right? We know the Earth is round by observing it closely. If you watch a ship as it disappears over the horizon, the bottom will vanish first, and then the top disappears later. It's incorrect. It just appears that way. Take a look at this ship out at sea. This is called the vanishing point. It's not around the supposed ball earth as I shown before. It's called the vanishing point. As things get further away, it's all about perspective. Just like you see with these telephone poles. All telephone poles here are the same height, but due to perspectives, you see these legs or the poles themselves, they seem to get shorter. It's not the case. Again, it's all about the vanishing point. Understand, let's take a look at these actual telephone poles. Not this artwork anymore. And again, understand the supposed curvature on the ball earth is for the first mile, it is eight inches. This is not even a mile. And you see, again, the poles appear shorter when they're the same height. Okay, it's not, not because of the curve. It's because of the perspective that you see them at. Now to continue on. Using a stopwatch, you can do your own experiment to prove it. Watch the sun set over the ocean or an open plain. Now, talks about the sun setting. Let's take a look here at this time lapse and what's taking place here. This is time lapse footage over at Lake Michigan during winter. It's completely frozen over. Just take a look at the sun as it's basically going around the flat earth. See it appear to get smaller. That's because it is. Now you see the light here. It's localized. If the sun was truly 93 million miles away, like science says, this wouldn't happen. The whole entire horizon would be illuminated, and it's not. You see the clouds are illuminated at the point here. Play a little bit more. And again, due to perspective, it appears it's going around a ball when it's not. Okay, I'm going to show this video. Take a look here, as I've shown many, many times. This is how the sun goes around the flat Earth. Exactly what's taking place. The sun is much closer. It's not 93 million miles away. People say, well, if this sun was above a flat Earth, would it illuminate the entire flat Earth? Well, let's take a look at this actual video. People say, oh, it's just a model. But let's take a look at this video here. As you can see here, this guy... He's out in an Alaskan cruise, and you can see the moon at night. Okay? It's late at night. You see it's completely dark. Take a look here as I skip over, and he gets a vantage point. You get complete daylight. Now, this is pretty easy to see what's taking place here. He pans back over, and again, you see the moon at night. And again, you see the light localized one strip with the moon again the sun and moon are much closer again you understand with this model in actual footage as i shown there's no of course moon in this model but this is exactly how the sun works people might ask why do seasons change as the sun goes around the flat earth it actually shifts in and out towards the center of the so-called north pole when you get the 24-hour daylight, basically the sun is revolving around a circle. And this is gradual throughout the year. As the sun, again, circles the earth. It's shifting gradually, and this is what creates the seasons. Now, again, getting back on topic with the occult side of things, like I showed here with this image, which Confucius once stated, signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. And you understand, again, this guy's just a useful idiot. But he's told to do this when he's raising his hands up so you can purposely see this Masonic hand sign. Okay, this is what it's all about. The 
club of deceivers. You see them all doing it. There's higher levels and lower levels. And this guy is, is at the very lowest level, but he's still doing the Masonic hand sign, as you see here, with everybody you see on TV. It's part of this club. This is how they control the matrix. Every part. Again, higher and lower levels. Now, taking a look here at Discovery's logo itself, I find it very interesting with the fake ball earth and you see the D wrapped around it and this D is for the dome. I pointed this out before, the same exact thing. You got the earth and with the sky dome and of course this represents the dome over the earth. You have the sun within the dome of the D here. Now understand again, these concepts are not devised for no reason. There's always a backstory so you'll understand what's taking place here. Taking a look here at Obama himself with Discovery Channel. And again, you see the ball earth and the D. Now, again, the occult aspect of Discovery News. And you'll see the hand. And this, this one in particular, this is the sign of silence. And this is what it's all about for those that don't understand the occult. Where words are meaningless. Signs and symbols, it's what it's all about. Going back in time with Hippocrates in Greece. Hippocrates is the god of silence, secrets, and confidentiality. And that's why you see this person doing the sign of silence. This person might not even know. The producers behind the scenes are telling these people exactly how to pose and exactly what to do. And of course, the same people that own this network are telling, again, this guy to make a video on the subject about how the earth isn't flat. Keeping people in the dark once again. Now again, talking about the sign of silence, getting back to Hippocrates, it goes back even further to Horus in ancient G Egypt. I just want to point that out really quick now. Understanding how the entire matrix is controlled, every aspect of it. Take a look at Oprah Winfrey's Harpo Studios. Of course, Oprah spelt backwards. This is the law of reversal with Satanism. It's all about doing things in opposites. Everything we're told is Z when in reality it's really A. And this is again the method of control. The people that own and control this world. People at the very top. This is why they're called the Illuminati, the enlightened ones. They're at the very top of the pyramid. This is why they use this pyramid as their symbol. Knowledge is in the hands of the few. The rest are kept ignorant. The classic structure for manipulation and control. Again, taking a look here at Oprah. And you'll see the own network. And of course, again, talking about doing things in opposites. Opposite of own is NWO. And I find it interesting. You see the orange type color. And orange is the only color, once again, that is 33 in numerology. Now, again, taking a closer look at the sign of silence. Keeping secrets. Illuminati signifying to his fellow monks and brothers not to disclose or reveal secrets entrusted to their order now you take a look at some puppets again more useful idiots with blink 182 they're just told to do this they didn't devise this themselves there's nothing new under the sun they again they own and control every aspect of our society those behind the scenes and they tell their puppets their minions what to do i find it interesting the shirt he's reading the reason he has his arms over his head they want to focus on the shirt making noise and influencing people and this is what the people do behind the scenes. Now, taking a look here again with the sign of silence. Taking a look at all these people. Barbara Bush, Obama, Charles Darwin, of course, Mr. Evolution himself. And again, Darwin is 33 in numerology as Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton's wife. Of course, Bill Clinton was born Bill Blythe. The reason he changed his name to Clinton is to get the 33. And John Kerry, Ozzy Osbourne, just another puppet in Obama's former press secretary. So understand what's taking place. This whole world is controlled by these occultists at the very top. You understand what's taking place with all these programs, television programming. They're meant to program you, not to educate you. They're not interested in educating you. They're interested, once again, and keeping you dumbed down, that is, again, their method of control. Words are very unnecessary, they can only do harm. Words are meaningless and forgettable.
Enjoy the silence. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.